But there is one boy who's casting a giant shadow across the school. His name is Kirtley Beard. He's the first Aboriginal to play for Joey's. And today, it's the old enemy Kings. With the Premiership on the line, Kirtley absolutely demolishes them. He scores 27 points on his own. And as usual, he's the man of the match. He's just deceptive. In, he can, his legs can go one way, the body the other, the hands somewhere else. And uh, he's just got a vision and a movement about him that um, is something special, something I haven't seen before in a boy at that age. There can only be one true religion at this old Catholic college. Still, rugby is much more than sport here. It's the culture. It's about teamwork, it's about discipline, and it's about winning. And there can be no greater honour to any boy than to be made captain of the first 15. Kirtley's enjoyed the leadership opportunities, and he's enjoyed the extra responsibility that's come with that. He's fully aware that a lot of the younger boys particularly look up to him, not just the older boys, but they respect him. The younger boys look up to him a lot. He's a bit of a hero, but he carries that very, very well. He's a very humble sort of a kid. Very humble, very quiet. He doesn't like the limelight. Seeing a place like this my, for the first time was, I don't know, I thought it was a jail. A jail? Yeah. Painfully shy at first, Kirtley Beale is now a school role model for boys black and white. A natural, gifted athlete, Kirtley was raised by his grandparents on the outskirts of Western Sydney. He admits that even as an 11 year old, he was heading for trouble. But what was Kirtley Beale like when he came here six years ago? I mean, just another shy little black fellow, just um, uh, scared at start, um, confused. Um, no self-esteem? No self-esteem at all. Do you feel lucky now? Oh yeah, definitely. Probably comes back down to that opportunity, yeah. that opportunity that I've, I've, I've been given. At 17, Kirtley is already a rugby superstar. He's captain of the Australian schoolboys side. Some say he's the best prospect, not just in Australia, but the world. 